Hello, this is Jody from Jody's Gems Quilting here to share another tip for the kitchen. Uh, it's summertime and it's time for watermelons. So I bought a watermelon the other day and you can choose a favorite one. I just picked one up. Um, you can ask your grocer for a good one, ask for tips, Google it, find out how to pick a good watermelon. I normally pick a good one. This one turned out to be not as red as I would like it to be. So anyway, it's just a hit or miss. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring your whole watermelon home. Your Mine doesn't fit in the refrigerator, and I have a big refrigerator, so it doesn't fit unless I cut it first. And I found this tip. This was years ago in Tupperware. We used to, to teach this all the time when we had Tupperware parties. And so you bring your watermelon home. You cut each end off so you have a flat surface. Then you cut it in half right here so you set I set the other half into here till I was ready for it and what you're going to do is have a trash can handy so either put a trash can right in front of you or um, bring one over from your other wherever you located in the kitchen I use a bagel knife but any large knife will do that's really sturdy and strong but flexible too and I find that I use a bowl with a strainer in the bottom and that's very helpful as it drains it doesn't get all mushy in the bottom your last piece is a watermelon so it works great and what I'm gonna do is just share how I learned years ago I'm finding that my daughter and that generation have no clue how to do this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by slicing down through take the wedges off throw them into the trash and just keep cutting all the way around as you do this all the way through you'll have some pieces that are still good in here you can cut those out or I usually give the kids a spoon and let them um, dig it out of there when we were growing up we had no um, seedless watermelons we had seeds in them so of course uh, we were spitting seeds everywhere and it kind of always drove me crazy so I I love this when Tupperware showed us how to do this what you're going to do when you get the rind off, you're going to go through and you're going to slice about one inch thick. And you will see that on the inside of the watermelon, there are rows here. And in the old days, there were black seeds in here. So it's really easy to take a spoon and just scoop those seeds out. So we made seedless watermelons. Then you'll go around and you'll cut this up. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you cut the next one. And you'll cut that up you'll cut the next one and you'll see that they continue to grow in rows do you see that and you continue going all the way around your watermelon in one inch slices or so okay you can see them right here these are with seedless these little white ones you can eat they're no problem and then you just keep cutting your watermelon when I got down to the core then I just Cut it in slices. Oops. Cut it the opposite direction. Having a dishcloth or a dish rag handy to get all the juice is really good because it is juicy. And then I just turned it on its side and cut it up, which I will do in a second. But I wanted to show you that if you cut a slice out, you're going to do this and cut down through, cut down through again, and you will see that this would be where all the seeds would be. You just dig those out. When you get that done, then you go back and you're just going to cut into chunks. And they're just basically bite-sized pieces. You're going to do that with all of them, one at a time. You can see, isn't this watermelon? It's, this is like the worst one I think I've ever bought. It tastes good, just doesn't look good. And then I found today, this is really handy with a spatula to lift and throw it in. And I only have one of those strainers. I'll have to continue going to thrift stores looking for them because I haven't seen, I don't think they're still available anymore in this size. But this is a four-quart bowl. This is the three-quart bowl. And the three-quart had the strainer with it. And then I put a regular seal, Tupperware seal, on top of it that fits with it. So it keeps it fresh, but it allows it to drain. So anyway, I hope this helps you this summer as you cut up watermelon. Don't be afraid to give it a try. I taught... Uh, 20 something the other day how to do it and I thought you know I could post a video and then more people would see how to do this so anyway have a great summer God's blessings to you bye